think everyone should learn to code for a few reasons. Uh, I think everyone should get the chance to find out if computer science is something they enjoy doing. Uh, a lot of my students have said they never expected to like the topic, but once they experienced it, they loved it and they added it as a minor or changed their major. And so I think everyone should at least give it that chance. It's also a skill that's surprisingly applicable to everyday life. Uh, I've written little Python scripts that help me with my household budget or help me keep track of students' progress in my courses. They don't use any concepts that go beyond my CS1 class, but they're really powerful in terms of how much of my time they save. So I really think everyone should learn to code because you might not realize how much you're going to like it. And even if you don't love it, you might find out it's really useful. It can really make your everyday life easier. So the areas we hear most about nowadays are analytics, cybersecurity, web development, and I don't see any sign that those are going to change or diminish anytime soon. If anything, they're going to be more and more important, but they're going to evolve. We've already seen that with web development. Developing for mobile devices has fundamentally changed what web development really is all about. And we'll see that more and more with the emergence of wearable devices, augmented reality, VR goggles, everything like that. Those will all benefit from being able to tap into already popular sites and networks. It's sort of a a chicken and egg thing. For people to buy smartwatches and VR goggles, there has to be some benefit that they get from those devices. But for developers to develop for those devices, there have to be consumers who own those devices. So which came first, the people buying the device or the developers supporting the device? I think the way we bridge that gap is by finding ways to take existing value and leverage it in new technologies. So what I think is going to be interesting is that the jobs of today, like web development and cybersecurity, are going to be important to the jobs of tomorrow, like virtual reality and smart fabrics and whatever else comes next. When it comes to AI skills, we very often talk about how there are more jobs for people with AI skills than there are actual people, and so there's a shortage. But I think that's really only half the equation, because when we're talking about that, we're usually talking about AI hard skills, which I think of as, I know how to use PyTorch, I know how to use OpenCV, which are popular um, AI libraries. What we really need more of, though, are people with what I would describe as AI soft skills, which is the ability to look at a problem and understand from the perspective of AI development what's easy, what's hard, and what can AI contribute to solving that problem. 